AI is now creating AI. It's finally happened, folks. It's finally happened that we have created AI that can create AI. That's right. It's the end of the world. It's Skynet. It's Terminator. They're going to take over and we'll be done. No. No. That's not what's going to happen. I mean, first of all, if you've been watching my show at all, you've probably gotten a little bit of a glimmer to understand the limitations of AI. And let AI, at this point in time, especially generative AI, is mostly like a superannuated autocorrect. It responds how it thinks that you should respond based on all of the data that's been fed into it. It can't think about new things. It can't do anything new and different. As a matter of fact, just the other day, the Supreme, UK Supreme Court ruled that AI cannot own patents because there's an individual, and I forget the name of the, of, the, of the software that he created, but he created a piece of software, oh, Dabis, that's what it was called. He created a piece of software that goes into, so if you're familiar with patents at all, patents are specific ideas in specific areas that have been that have been it's such a unique idea that it's been created and and saved as a patent and what you find is that bet outside of these patent spaces there's these things that are called white spaces which is areas where ideas have not yet be generated so what this gentleman did is that he created a software program that looks at the white spaces between the patents and goes hmm maybe i can come up with something the 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 ai the ai would come up with some idea within between those two patents or emerging patents or whatever or coming up come up with a completely new idea something that hits all of the requirements for being patentable such as novelty and usefulness and all the other requirements to be patented so this gentleman created the Dabas Dabas created some ideas in this space and applied for patents for these ideas and the UK government said no AI cannot own patents. AI cannot create patents. But if you ask me, that's not that far off. That's not that far off at all. I don't see any reason why we can't have AI create patents, although the whole concept of a patent is a human-generated idea. So maybe at some point in the future, AI will create patents. But if AI can create itself, then we've gotten the first slim edge of being able to develop AI that can create things better than itself. And this is what I've always said about AI. Some of you out there are like, oh my God, what are you talking about, Chris? You shouldn't be, we, we don't want to have AI that's better than humans. And I say, well, why not? Why wouldn't we want to have AI that's better than humans? That's the point. We are creating. We, we have evolved to the point that we're at due to nature. And we have now taken over that task and evolve and starting to evolve ourselves beyond what nature has done for us and i like to say that our ai isn't even at the human level yet it isn't at the human level yet so and people are freaking out about ai being subhuman it's not at the human level yet and i'm like we need ai to be beyond the human level because that's where the real useful stuff happens if ai just we just aspire to get AI to be human-like, I don't think that's good enough. We need to aspire AI to be better than human, to be able to go out there and create new things and invent new things and come up with brand new solutions that are beyond things that us human beings have been able to think about. So AI creating AI can only be a good thing because it can spin up into levels of AI that are far beyond what we can think of doing. And some of you are like, okay, well, what if the nightmare scenario occurs? What if AI creates AI, which creates AI, and at some point, this AI that is created goes, you know what? I think I'm better than the human race, and I think I should just eliminate the human race, just like it was in Skynet and Terminator. That's why we need to have these boundaries. We need to have some boundaries put in place. We need to have, it's like Isaac Asimov's laws of robotics. 
when we get to that point, when we get to the point where AI can create a, itself, we need to encode those elements like the original AI ro um, robotic laws so that human beings are not attacked, harmed, or not helped when they need to be helped. Sure, we need some boundaries around it, but I, I don't think at this point that we really have to concern ourselves with AI running out of control like this. It's still baby steps. It, as I've said about everything, we can't be decelerators about this. We have to look at it and go, this technology is out there, it's happening, it's moving forward, we have to embrace it, and we have to direct it and guide it to help with the flourishing of all of humanity. Not just a little bit of humanity, not just this little tiny part of humanity that we've specifically said can benefit from this, but all of humanity. This is why we do what we do, folks. We do this to help humanity. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future.